Hello and welcome. In this series of video tutorials, we are going to explain the basics of the software by following the first step guide that you'll find under Help in the main menu bar. And it will bring up a PDF with the tutorials. Click on Load Projects and Generate Terrains, the first of the tutorials. Here is the default location of the tutorial files. Let's look for that in the Explorer and open the project. Once open, you'll get something like that. Let's generate it in 3D. For that, you can press Build here or you can press Build up here or F9. Both of them will give the same result. Then shows up that uh, render prompt and once finished, we can select 3D. The shortcut for that is Ctrl G and visualize it in 3D. In order to navigate uh, in the viewport, you can zoom in and out by scrolling the middle mouse button. You can press the middle mouse button to pan, like here. And using Alt and middle mouse button, you can orbit around your scene. And in the viewer menu, you have more camera controls like field of view. Here you can change the camera angle. It will be like a tele. Here it will be like a wide angle. You can also compute far and near planes. And you can store camera position. So here we have some already set. And when we click on jump, it jump the camera jumps to the stored position. Click on the plus symbol in order to add a new camera position. Give it a name. And when you are happy with your camera position, press set. There you go. You can always jump to that camera position. We can also add fog and different type of fog with its density. And you can also um, change the uh, sky, like the time. And here on the top we have other camera controls. We are using the trackpad camera right now, but we can use also the fly camera or the boost camera. Here on the top there are more viewport modes. You can see it in wireframe. And here is a very interesting one, the 3D uh, icon here allows us to select um, our vectors directly into in the viewport in 3D and uh, you can also choose uh, just to view just the selected geometry as a wireframe. Another feature is the statistics. You can access the statistics by pressing the I key and to iterate between the different statistics, uh, just press I several times. And that's all for today. See you next time.